in. Uh, this is day two of Munjaro. I weighed in this morning and I have lost three pounds. So that's a really good start. But I will say I definitely have the sulfur burps. Um, they've kind of started. I took my omazoprol this morning. You guys are so, this is why I want to share this journey in this kind of way in the bathroom <laughs> on YouTube and Facebook because I got so much good feedback from you guys on taking that medication because I've been taking it wrong and I didn't know some stuff about it, but you're supposed to take it, let it 30 minutes before your meal, which I knew that, but you need to eat 30 minutes after you take it to kind of activate the medication. And I also didn't know that you're not able to absorb other things with it when you take it because it like lines the inside of your stomach or your whatever this is called. It lines stuff. I'm not a scientist, okay? Um, but I have always taken it with my antidepressants. I always take it, take it with my Paxil. I wonder if that's why I've had such bad anxiety. Like I wouldn't even say it's so bad, but like I've had an uptick in anxiety that I normally don't have. I wonder if it's because I'm, cause I've been on this medication for over a month now. And that's like a correlates with the same time that my health anxiety started to kind of creep back in. So I was like, mind blown, holy crap. Um, so I took it, we, John and I went to the gym this morning. I bench pressed for the first time in probably 20 years since like weightlifting class in high school. Um, John was my trainer this morning and it was such an honor, but he was like showing me form and I, we did arm day. So we did, uh, buys, tries and lats or something, buys and tries. I don't know. It was arm day and we ended the workout with cardio. It was a really good workout and Everett was up all night. So it was really hard to go to the gym this morning, but we still did. So I love that so much for us, but the, I had a protein shake 30 minutes after I took my medication today. Um, I did not take my Paxil with this medication. I'm wondering when I should take that. If you have any tips for that, you should let me know down below. If you are the one that left that comment, you let me know down below and I'll also ask my doctor and just see what she says too. But I definitely, I had a protein shake 30 minutes with the timer on after and it was like such a chill protein shake and I still have the sulfur burps, but no stomach pain. Um, nothing like that. It's very mild so far and we are 24 hours out from taking my shot. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update of what it's looking like currently. Um, we're all exhausted, but shit is getting done regardless. So yay us. I'm so proud of you guys also for leaving the comments down below of what your day one's going to look like. A lot of you guys are giving up alcohol, which I absolutely love to hear it. A lot of you guys have given up alcohol, which I'm so excited to hear that. I think you're going to absolutely love it. A lot of you are starting your exercise and stuff. So I'm proud of you for exercising today, for choosing yourself today, the month of May. Oh my gosh, I should write like a Winnie the Pooh book or something. The month of May is going to be really good for all of us. And I'm really, really proud of you, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Um, I also am on the five milligram dose. I'm just kind of answering questions that I saw in the comment section that I didn't get to. I'm on five milligrams. I did not go down to the loading dose again, which is 2.5. This is basically the lowest dose you can be on aside from the loading dose. And I've been on it the entire time. And that's what I started back up with. I also, somebody said they get welts every time around their injection site. I also get a welt every time around my injection site. It itches. If you have a problem with itching it, don't itch it, first of all. For some reason, it's extra sensitive when you itch it and it just makes it worse. Uh, use like an over-the-counter um, steroid cream and that'll take the itch out. But I've talked to my doctor about that and she said it's totally normal. It happens, but I wouldn't stress about that too much. I mean, obviously, if it looks infected and stuff, but I get them too every single time. And I also had a lot of questions like, why are you changing up the injection site? What's the science with that? I don't freaking know. If you go on any Moonjaro like web website or like support group, a lot of them are like, switch up the site. The side effects are a lot less. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see. So that's why I tried there instead of my stomach. I've always just done my stomach. Um, this is my first time in my arm and so far I would say I don't notice a freaking difference at all. Um, I'm a little nauseous. Food sounds disgusting. So I'm really not craving anything at all, which is, that is nice. Uh, less time to think about food, more time to think about all the things I need to get done in life. And so far so good. Everything is a-okay. Check in later, but just sulfur burps for now. Holding, crossing fingers, everything that, that is all it is. 
just take it easy with the food today. Nothing crazy, nothing that'll spice it up. Also, one of you said you found out that sparkling waters were your demise as far as your acid reflux. I haven't had one of these today. It's a Waterloo. I love these. I love these, but I'm going to stay clear of all carbonated beverages and see how much of a difference it makes. Okay, now we'll check in later. <laughs>